I really like the raw sound of the System 8. It definitely has a nice, basic, raw analog tone to it. In this performance, I wanted to integrate some of my external gear with it because, I mean, to me, that's the nature of using modular gear, is to cross-patch between everything. And I really liked having the modular stuff you know, built right into the back. It really encouraged me to try running the sound from the System 8 into the modules for additional processing. The combination of the two I found really interesting. The Jupiter 8 was definitely the synth part that I gravitated towards with the System 8. You know, I have a long history with using Roland Jupiter synths, so I immediately pressed that Jupiter 8 button and uh, yeah, I wasn't disappointed. It sounds really cool. I mean, I like the concept, you know, I have a bunch of Roland analog synths. It's kind of nice to think that, uh, you know, you can just load in all the different synths that I've been familiar with over the years. I was using the built-in sequencer on the System 8, which was really nice. Yeah, I really liked experimenting with that thing and I found it very instant to figure out. I mean, I know with a lot of sort of built-in sequencers, they're sort of complicated. This thing, I just figured it out in a second. So I mean, there's so many different ways that you could integrate a system like this into a full studio, but I like that, you know, I can cross-patch it with my modular, cross-patch it with some of my vintage semi-modular synths, like I actually was using uh, one of the outs on my vintage system 100 and uh, taking like a VCO out from that and patching it into this system. So, you know, there's no limit to the possibilities how you can integrate a system like this into an analog studio. Mm -hmm.